Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the 13-piece uh, Bosch Daredevil Spade Bit Set. These are primarily wood drilling bits, but they can be used in plastics and other really soft materials. Not recommended for any type of metals. Just want to get that out of the way. I've seen a lot of these burned up when people try to use them on aluminum. And these Bosch Daredevils are pretty highly rated. On a normal store shelf, they're around like 30 bucks or something. You can find them for 25 online. And they really are a pretty... You know, about the best level of geometry that you can get for a traditional uh, spade bit. The whole purpose of these wood drilling bits is that they are fairly effective and that they are cheap and that they don't require a particularly powerful drill relative to the size of hole that you want to drill uh, using them. Of course, big disadvantages is one, since they just have a real short cutting area, both in width this way as well as in length that they do have the ability to wander, even with ones like this, which have a screw tip, which help kind of pull them through the material. Uh, if you're leaning off to one side or the other, then it will start to make a not particularly straight hole. And I can't believe I actually haven't gotten into videos about uh, wood drilling bits, but I have a few to go through here. Now, this, these Bosches actually are an evolution of the much earlier Bosches. We can see Bosch right there. And even the earlier ones, they had this interesting stamped thread. It was more of a flat bit, but they did have these two kind of scoops. And so when they went with this version, they've uh, certainly improved them. Quite a bit better geometry. They have these two spikes and an additional bevel. So it kind of makes the cut more progressive and makes it, the walls a bit smoother. And then we can see the... If we can get the camera to focus here, there we are. The little S shape. So that actually forms a curve for the material to more easily come up and get cleared out from the cut face. They also put a coating on it, which does tend to wear off. There's a few of these here where it's already worn off on me. And uh, overall, they're really good. They're pretty much the best you can get. I looked at a few YouTube videos complaining about you know, tools dropping various bits and saw ones about these Bosch Daredevils. I've measured all these. They measure 248 and a half thousandths or uh, 6.32 millimeters. They are absolutely spot on on the shanks. So in case anybody saw that video, I measured those and they or these here and uh, they're absolutely spot on for any kind of quarter inch specification. Issues with quarter inch retention systems uh, quick release that rely on the slot is that on some bits where they round off the corners of the hex a little more many tools rely on the corner for where they have the whatever retention rod or ball or really it's much better if they have it based on one of the flats it makes it a more positive retention system and so I did want to point that out anytime I've had any issues with bits getting stuck or really ever wanting to fall out it's just because these corners happen to be really too rounded off and they're nice and square anyway the 13 piece set I think is great what is a little funny of course is on the quarter inch uh, there is no advantage the geometry doesn't do anything it's not wide enough it's actually it's so it's weird looking because it's just the size of the screw tip itself and at the very next size, at 3 8 we start to see some of that geometry come into play. And, of course, it goes all the way up to inch and a half, which would be the standard range. And I do like this little pouch. It does hold them pretty well and prevents them from getting uh, all beat up. Anyway, I'm going to make a video or a series of videos about wood boring bits. I need to kind of overextend myself with uh, all these uh, new tools. So I'm going to get back to the roots of the collection and haven't done a lot of review and comparison so I need to get into those and I've actually had a, uh, a varying supply of uh, video subject matter and so I'll get into all the different forms of spade bits that have come about over the years but this video is really just about these Bosch speed bores. I'm also not going to impact. What I realize about impacting wood drill bits is you do it when you need to but all it is is just making a whole bunch of noise when an impact wrench is operating your effective rpm is very low a few hundred under good situations obviously if the bolt or whatever you're turning doesn't move at all your effective rpm is zero yet you've got a tool that's making a whole lot of noise obviously i love impacts but for driving spade bits i prefer drill because it's a fixed connection and you're going to run them at a specific rpm 
and it's going to do it at the RPM, and you're going to have a much faster drilling operation. Also, the holes tend to be better because instead of the bit just doing these a bunch of series of little uh, intermittent cuts, it's one continuous smooth operation. So instead, I'm just going to take this three-quarter inch because I haven't used it much, and it should be a pretty good size, and I'm just going to show a difference in using these at three different RPMs, 1,000 RPM, uh, 2,500, and 4,000 RPM. Just to point out how good these are, and they are, uh, for the most part, every once in a while, I mean, spade bits are designed to be cost-effective, so the shanks won't always be perfectly straight. On these Bosch units, they have been pretty good. We can see we've got it in my... Uh, nice Milwaukee triple two with the extra heavy duty chuck and if we run it you can see that that threaded tip is actually not wobbling back and forth a whole bunch or it's actually barely at all so it's pretty nice but if we look in this area here we can see a little wobbling which indicates that the grind on each side of this bit that isn't perfectly centered with the threads in the shank but that's very minimal. These bits are actually very straight running uh, for something that's on the shelf for 30 bucks for uh, 13 bits um, that are forged. I believe these are forged to smash that shape in there and ensure that they have the uh, uh, a good amount of strength. They just are very hard to hand resharpen. I have my cube of Douglas fir here. Let's just go ahead and uh, do our first hole here at 1,000 RPM. You can hear that actually is pretty fast. It's pretty aggressive. I do not know if my quarter inch drill is going to be able to drive this three quarter inch bit at 4,000 RPM, but I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm using my DeWalt DWD 112 at 2,500 RPM. It's eight amps, but this it's surprising how aggressive these are. So I do, I think this will get through it, but I'm not entirely sure. Wow, that's pretty good actually. That's a stout drill, but you could hear how loud the gears got. You could also see that we were drilling at a rate of like an inch every half a second. That was some pretty fast drilling. Here we are. This will be asking a whole heck of a lot of a Milwaukee quarter inch drill, but it does have a 7 amp motor. Uh, if it seems like it's going to jam up, I'll switch to a smaller bit like a half inch or a 5 eighths. And then come back to this. But this, I'm going to make sure I have a firm hold, even though it's not that torquey. Here we go, 4,000 RPM. That was pretty fast, but this drill bogged down a significant amount. That was probably effectively 3,000 RPM. Let's see if we can't get this out of here. And uh, on a further note, this little Milwaukee quarter-inch drill is actually stouter than I expected. One more time here, but this time with the 916th on that 4,000 RPM drill, just to see how much quicker we can go through when we don't have it bogged down quite as much. Wow, these are really pretty darn aggressive. So anyway, I hope you like my little review and short demonstration about the paddle bits, combined with the fact that um, you can drive them at pretty high RPMs. If you're drilling a bunch of holes in succession, you will want to run them slower because they'll heat up more quickly. But in many situations, you'd be surprised. You can drive these things super fast. And the, the depth of these holes I was drilling, that would be going through a 2x4 standard uh, stock or, you know, 2x6, 2-inch thick stock in like a second when you're using a drill like this. And uh, using an impact driver... Obviously, it will take a, a lot longer than one second to go through two by material. Where this kind of a drill and then the smaller bits, uh, especially with these daredevils, man, you could just you just fly through the holes. It's unbelievable. I didn't have any two by material, but really, it would just be a just a poke the hole through. It just really, it would be just that fast. It's pretty darn cool. And so I think these bits are pretty nice. They really do excavate the chips out really pretty well. And even deep down, they still weren't so stuck that I couldn't just put the drill in reverse and back them out. 
anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. Thank you.